This is a story of a kayak trip that changed my life. As part of my apocalypse, I wanted to go kayaking with my brother-in-law, Rinaldo. What I didn't expect was ticking off four of my apocalypse items, including catching a fish. What I learned on my journey will stay with me forever. This is the story of a life-changing kayak trip. My life I've never been probably deeper than this in the water so this is my first time actually getting out in the ocean and my brother-in-law over here is gonna take me we're gonna do a little bit of kayaking welcome to the apocalypse the kayaking wasn't off to a great start since I had my paddles the wrong way around <laughs> and then I used the wrong side of the paddles. It took me a very long time to realize this. This part I like to call Rookie versus Pro. Although I thought this was the correct way to do it, it was not. This is the correct way to do it. And we're off on an adventure. As we got closer to the tip of the harbour, I was greeted by a familiar sight, Dolosa. Dolosa are reinforced concrete blocks that you'll find scattered across coastlines all over the world. They can weigh up to 8 tons and have quite an interesting shape. The odd shape helps them to interlock and as a result they protect waterways from the erosive force of the sea. The first Dolos was created in 1963 and it is a proudly South African invention. This was the closest I got to capsizing my kayak. My lure got caught in the rope behind me and since I haven't gotten my sea legs yet, this was quite a mission working behind my back. Nearly not a lot of fun. Okay. I am very slow man, but I am enjoying this very much, yes. Rinaldo explained that there were very rough waters ahead and that we actually had to go around it. What I didn't know was we actually ended up going through it. And then came some fishing. Let's talk a little bit about it. Now it's known as a bonito. These fish live hard and die young. They don't actually get older than 8 years of age and reach maturity at 1 year old. You can catch them all year round though it's not advised to catch them between May and June as it is their breeding season. So we literally got the last tip of the tail of the fishing. This is fucking heaven. We are on the ocean on some kayaks. There's waves breaking behind us. There's two fish in there. Yeah, there's not really much more you can ask for. So, if you want to put this on your pocket list, go do it. A 
as we were rowing back, can you believe it, Rinaldo got another fish. While we were rowing back, I got to thinking about all of the things that I learned on my kayaking adventure. Remember to live in the moment, because one day you won't have any more moments left. Great things come when you stop looking for them. This is the first bunny that I caught, so... Hmm. It's fishy. Instant regret? Little bit, yes. <laughs> Little bit instant regret. <laughs> Actually, that's quite lacquer. It's not as good as tuna, but like, the raw fish is lacquer. It's good to know that this Aiki was swimming in the ocean less than two hours ago, and now I'm eating it. Goodbye. Just keep rowing, rowing, rowing. Just keep rowing, 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 rowing. Whew. Jakey tired. I've been waiting for this moment for a long time. <laughs> My testicles are free. <laughs> <laughs> 